Hello, and welcome to Two Funny Mamas. I'm Kim Whitley. You for a minute there, you like I'm Kim. You know what? Because I was like, do I give my full government name? Then I was like, I think about thieves and stuff, and I was like, nope. They, but everybody knows your government name. They've known it for like twenty uh, something years. That's right, Kim yeah. Malik Shabi. <laughs> uh, what? What is that? That's my Malik Shabib, are you Muslim now? Some part of yes. yes. Okay, all right. Well, I'm Sherry Yvonne Shepherd. <laughs> Welcome to Two, Two Funny Mamas. Mamas. What is that that we're talking together? Why are we doing that? Is it? Is, do we? Do we? I don't understand that. Well, that's what you do on a podcast, and when you're performing. No, that's like when Wendy Williams went over to Kevin's uh side girl's house and wrote wendy and kevin forever in the garage it was dumb and that was dumb when we just oh that's so funny i did that on, on well i was the side piece and i wrote it on the married <laughs> dude's garage okay that's so wrong and it's karma did you see when the wendy williams anything i'm so mad no because i've just been working on pop daily pop y'all please watch it. i know because you have Forgot. to get up at three in the morning yeah, I know. so i have not watched but i want to watch the movie and the documentary no together. watch the documentary don't watch the movie. This girl, watch Wendy, did her documentary from her house. Oh, okay. She did it like she had found a wig that was sitting on the chair and put the wig on. She was hooked up to her lymphoma machine. Okay. She was eating like Doritos and caviar at the same time. And then she just started talking, spewing. I got to watch this. You have to watch it. And you know what I came away from the document she talked oh. some of the stuff that she talked about kevin was very controlling he mm -hmm. cut off a lot of uh of people who were in her life mm -hmm. she knew about sharina for a long time because she had private eyes yeah. uh, investigating him so when she was on her show talking about you ain't nothing wrong with us and you'll see something wrong when i don't know how to ring them that was a defense mechanism she knew about sharina yeah. one day sharina appeared in her driveway and wendy saw her from the window and to do anything. And then when Kevin got home, that's when the ruckus started. I'm like a facade piece what? pulled up in my drive. That's what me and Wendy are different. You got the nerve to pull up in my driveway and I'm gonna watch you from the window and I'm not coming out there. And when she just sat there and waited. She just sat there and waited for Kevin to come home. Then when she found out that Sharina lived right down the street, cause Wendy lived like in, um, I don't know if it wasn't Inglewood, but it was another place. Mm -hmm. And then Sharina lived literally like 10 minutes away. And she went over to Sharina's. Kevin was over there. So Wendy spray painted Wendy and Kevin forever, which you really don't do when your side, the side pieces there in bed with your husband. You really don't do. You don't paint that we together forever. That's no, what you do in high school. After 16 years old. Yeah, after 16. So what I got from Wendy Williams was she doesn't have any female friends that she's really close right. to that, that can be there to go, Wendy, do your hair, do your makeup. Mm -hmm. Cause you're going to be on TV. This, you putting this out there, maybe not be hooked up to a lymphoma machine while it's circulate, whatever that machine does. Well, you can hear like, you know, it's not like you can hear it. It's just, you was, she was hooked up to it. Like she, Wendy was like, I don't need to do nothing. I'm in my house. I can say what I want. Right. But it, it used to look kind of crazy. The second thing I got was that Wendy has sort of like, she needs a protector. Like, you know, and, and I would never say that because women, we, should be able to protect ourselves, our basic mm -hmm. needs. But I feel like Kevin, she fell in love with Kevin because he was her protector. He was the buffer between her and, and the world. world. Uh -huh. And even though he was very controlling, mm -hmm. um, she thrived on control. Like with Kevin telling her what to do when, the, and so now that he's no longer there, it's a wild and out kind of thing. You know, she's like, yeah all over the place so i felt like wendy is one of those people she needs a protector so it just was a trip well i think and i think yeah. she needs good friends like you know you can't a friendship black china and you like mm -hmm. i don't like wendy should have called when she, her and kevin got divorced call us yeah like call a kim whitley call a sherry shepherd oh, call it nancy nash Vendica call a biblical Vendica fox and Vendica Vendica Brown. we're the ground she and Lunell did try to tell her some stuff, oh, but it's okay. like, what? Oh, we gonna talk about that too. Hold up, 
let me write that down. So, um, but maybe I don't know if Wendy knows how to be a girlfriend. You know, like you can't be mm -hmm. a girlfriend unless you know how to be a friend first. And I don't know if Wendy knows. I think how she to... said something like that. I think we interviewed her on Daily Pop, and yeah. she was. I wasn't okay. Sorry, I was not. Um, still says I can't get that out. Mm -hmm. she was I can't. Okay, that's funny. I know. Um, uh, okay, Didn't you I said just Wendy. Do... I don't you, know. No, you have to do the thing uh -huh. on the right. To, the thing on the right to not accept the phone call. Oh, yeah, that. You that, push this. Yeah, you push that, and it goes away. Uh, oh, magic. Okay. <laughs> you said you interviewed Wendy on Daily Pop. Yes, and she said some things like, "I don't have any girlfriends." She said that, and yeah, I could I tell. It. And I was like, Whoa. when I watched her on this documentary, I was like, "Wendy don't have any girlfriends," mm -hmm. and if she has girlfriends, they're not good girlfriends, right? Um, where she could and you've never them. seen them because your good girlfriends go on your talk show. They like, do. Like I'll be on all your shows. Yeah, I'll you like do. Your, you would be on mine. And I'm at your house all the time. Right. Like, like literally, we, we know Wendy's girlfriend. Just like you know Oprah's Gail. You know Oprah's Gail exactly. Yeah. You yeah, people you know their girlfriends. You know their running buddies. And when you don't have a good girlfriend, it, you don't have anybody telling you stuff. Yeah. So when she started being friends with Black China, I was like, mm, I don't think this is gonna go so well. But what Wendy does is why well, I said that maybe she doesn't know how to be a friend. Right. It's like when she was friends with Black China and Nene. Oh, right, um, right. Then what she did was she revealed personal stuff about them that made oh, them mad. Yeah. She revealed, remember she said Black China didn't have anywhere to live and Black China was like destitute. Remember she said that? And then Black China clapped back and took a picture of all her cars and her house and was like, I'm not destitute. Then Nini, she revealed that Nini's not coming back. Nini wants more money. And Nini had to clap back. Now her and Nini not even talking. Because you don't do that to a friend. So what it is, is she does not know how to be, when you say how to be a friend, she don't know how to hold water. That's the truth. Right. Even She's so I used got to be friends, a radio show, Wendy. Yeah, but don't you have girlfriends that you know, oh, don't tell her. Yes. You, like, I'll tell you stuff. We tell each other deep, deep, dark stuff. Right, we do. But I got fr some friends. That I don't say that to because I know I'm going to like you have in. to know where because all your friends are like somebody did this example in church. They said Jesus had the wide circle of that he fed the fishes and the mm -hmm. loaves, and then he had that circle of twelve, just his disciples. So you have everybody is not supposed to be in your close circle of friends. Right. There are some people who are they your good time friends. All you share with them is the funny stuff. But they're never supposed to be in that circle where you share your vulnerabilities, right. deep secrets, because they might business. your business. That because you they either gossip, it. Yeah. that you don't want to repeat it, they'll tell it or hold it against you. So you know those are in the outside. And so you have to know where to put different friends. Like, I, we good friends. But we such good friends, literally, before the podcast started, Chris, we kept talking to each other on Alexa. Because Kim was in another room, and I would go, Alexa, make an announcement. Kim, you late, so you fired. Kim, you late, and you fired, and I'm charging you five hundred dollars. Kim, you late, and you fired, and I'm charging you five hundred dollars. And then Kim, all of a sudden, you hear Kim's announcement. Yes. Yeah. We talked to each other like this for like 10 minutes. And Kim was like, Alexa, make an announcement. I was on time. And, but, and we just kept talking back and forth on Alexa. But I could have just come downstairs. You could have just, I could have walked upstairs. But it's so much easier with Alexa. I, I went over to Sherry's house to take some fruit because she wants my avocados and fruit off my tree. <laughs> you know how nasty that sounds. She, she wants, wants my avocados and, and fruit, fruit from my tree. tree. That sounds that so would nasty. Be yeah. yeah, that would be Chris. But I got it. these oranges. You gotta taste these oranges. No, these are the best oranges in the world. Of your tree? Okay, not off the tree. They off somebody else's tree. <laughs> I take my oh they could be. I didn't taste my oranges, but I would love to taste. You you know I love oranges. It's, no, you but let me explain. I'm saying this because you take everything in mind. I do. So Chris, you're my witness. I'm gonna give you some oranges that okay. I took off of this very special tree. Why is it so special? You know, it's my girlfriend's tree. Amy went over there and I looked at my orange tree and I noticed her tree is short and fat. 
My tree is tall. Okay. Fact, <laughs> Are you talking in code now? Is this this, is, this whole co- this is like this is kind of the Valentine edition. Whenever this comes out, Valentine's Day, and like I've been like, am I missing this the whole time? Is this fruit? Like, is this biblical? Like, what's what's going on here? Well, let me just say that short fat fruit. Woo, it's good and juicy. Wait till you taste it. Ooh. That long skinny thing ain't getting That's the yo yard. <laughs> my yard. I mean, it's okay. It'll do in a pandemic. <laughs> okay, so I would love to taste of an orange. I don't know how we went left. I'm just the- telling you. Wait till you. What was I talking about? I'm talking about fruit in your yard. Oh, right. right. Yeah, yeah, you were. Friendship. That? Friendship. Oh, uh, no, no. Because you went over my house to bring right. some fruit. So I got her some fruit. I go to her house. I think I see some shadows in the, through the window. <laughs> yes. So I have text Sherry and said, I'm leaving. I got your stuff. I had your vitamins, all bunch of stuff in this bag. But I didn't want to leave it where somebody could take it. So I went next to the door and in the shadows and was going to put it behind the basketball thing. Yeah. Sherry opens the door with her big guard dogs. Let me tell you something. This is what's so funny. You can tell dogs smell a mile away because that dog jumped Scared me to death. <laughs> but they didn't do nothing. They walked past me like, oh, that's just Kim. Okay. Oh, hey, you know you said. We scared, all of us scared. She screamed, I screamed, we all screamed. Because it's dark and Kim is lurking <laughs> like this. <laughs> I was lurking. In my driveway, like, like Quasimodo. You caught me in mid sneak. I was trying to. <laughs> <laughs> so my- <laughs> I'm like, what do you do? Why didn't you just ring the doorbell? Like she does that. Even in my other house, I had a gate. Uh-huh. She would just throw stuff over the gate and ring sure the bell <laughs> and just give it to me. Or Kim would come to my house and go, I was there, but I left. Because I'm waiting on you. I text you and said I'm bringing your stuff. But that's to say the friendship, I was over there scared to mess out of her. And uh, But we just were over each other's house. We know, you know, and here's the thing about friendship with women. I so value my friendships with women. And I think it's really important for a woman to have other friendships with women. This is why I felt sad for Wendy because women give you certain things. Like if you're about to make a mistake, a woman, your friend will tell you, will say, hey, I don't agree with that or you shouldn't do blah, 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 blah. You know, and so um, I, that's what I didn't see for Wendy and I and I said and it, you know what it made me say I said you got all that money and all the fame yeah but you're not happy no she's not she and she ain't got no good Judy and then you know what good who good Judy what's a good Judy a good girlfriend you just a good a, one a yeah gay, like, like Gail is always say that that's a, a good Judy a good right Judy like Gail is that to Oprah yeah oh that's a you good know Judy. but like and so what Wendy does is little things like you know she told everybody that she had this uh, sex night with uh, Method Man. Oh, yeah. She told it on, and she said she brought it. It wasn't in the movie. She was with DJ Booth, her new DJ on his little podcast, oh. not his little podcast, but his podcast. And she said that her and Method Man went home to her place, smoked some weed, and she gave Method Man a bath. And she said he may not, he may deny it because he's still mad at me. So he may, he may confirm or he may deny because he's still mad. Because she me. probably used Paul Mallet. She didn't even go get his booty. If he broke out in his booty, yeah, he yeah. goes to the night. You know, when you go get that dish soap, you know how we do to make the bubbles. But the problem is. <laughs> that go, oh, that's remember, a problem. Wendy, a lot of these young people don't remember. Wendy used to have a, a radio show. And that's, oh, when she yeah, was known that's, as, what, that's when she was known as Mean Wendy. Like she wasn't. Yes. Not, Wendy would have you on a radio show and talk about you the next day. That's why Whitney Houston was shared. Whitney Houston on Whitney Houston. We go down the whole list. Everybody. Yeah, Whitney used to be known as everybody. A lot of people didn't like but Wendy. You gotta defend yourself. Yes, and Wendy even like got fired for a minute. Remember? Yes. She, she she got run out of New York. Got, so I people don't remember. Somebody this. got a run It was out. over Diddy. Yeah. So what happened was Wendy put out that Method Man's wife had cancer, and she hadn't had the chance to tell her family. So her name is Tamika, oh. I think. So when she so when she put this out about Method Man, and it wasn't in the movie, so it wasn't like I, see, I felt like if it's not in the movie, then why are you revealing it? But here's the thing. So Tamika clapped back and was like, "She always been in my marriage. She won't leave us alone." 
uh, you know, Wendy. Wait, 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 wait. She clapped back recently? Oh, yeah. She clapped back, like, immediately. And she was like, you know, she's obsessed with our marriage. And she said, Wendy is one of the most miserable bitches in the planet, on the planet. Oh, and it was crazy. And it makes me want to be her friend even more. Wendy? Yes. Well, yeah. I want to fix her. But you know what Wendy will do? Like, I'm not opposed to putting out a message and going, Wendy, the next time you come to California, come hang out with us. Yes. Come hang out and and just, you know, let's be loved on by women who would care about Real women. By some real women. But I think not, though that who can do this? Hey, hey, hey! None of that, Wendy. Yeah, Nobody listen, want to hear that. Yeah, no, listen. Stop running your mouth about people's business. We here talking about us and fun. Right. Then anybody hear the gossip, negativity, stop. And then we, you know you'll start teaching her. Well, you well know. it's hard to teach a very grown woman. But I think that what would happen, Kim, is let's say you and Wendy became friends. Mm-hmm. I think that you might make yourself vulnerable about something. And Wendy would say it on the air, right? And I think that she would say it, on, and it was it would be personal and private, yes. and she would say it on the air because that's what she's used to doing. I absolutely your agree. Your friendship would be, and then you'd be calling cursing around. No, because I'm smarter than that, and what I would say is personal and vulnerable stuff about you. So, but I would act like it was me. And so when she so said, y'all be going back and forth telling on each other. No, I said about you. About me. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. I was going to say, I was like, this is very devious for Sherry to not be responding. Okay, I did not, I was not present. So, you know, if there's something about doing this podcast Thursday night. Because I, I did you. not catch that. I was like, uh, I'll be telling all your business and she'll be on the air talking about, oh. And then Jeffrey, and I'd be like, oh, hi, oh, oh. Okay, what is that? Oh, why she feel that? Well, or I'd be telling her stuff that I want to get out. I'd be like, well, I said this because we're doing all this talking about Wendy. Right. So we're going to send Wendy. Yes. We're going to send Wendy some flowers. Should we send me some flowers? We We can definitely send Wendy some flowers with the note that says, Wendy, when you come to LA, we want to have a sister girl uh, dinner with you. Now, what if she goes on there and be like, these bitches sent me a sister. They want to have a sister girl. Ain't nothing wrong with me. Now, she went on the air and she was like, you know, Sherry's nothing and and Kim is nothing. I don't know. You know. um, Yes. But maybe we can invite, I don't know, maybe Sheila E. We can invite, mm-hmm. you know, some people who are like really people in our lives that are really, you know, we know. Grounded. Grounded, absolutely. So that's that. that Mother would, love, you know. Mother love. Mm, just name a okay. few people. Okay, all right. Uh, you were, hmm, Chris. Mm. Hello. We did not get to say hello to you. Oh, we got, we, we got a. We wrote down, let's talk about Wendy Williams for 20 minutes. We accomplished our goal. Was it 20 minutes? Wow. We really well, talk a lot. lot. No, you talk a lot. Let's be clear. Hi, Chris. You're not complicit? You? You're saying you're not complicit in the Don't talk? Try to, you sat there while I was talking to try to figure out a word that I would not understand. <laughs> I hate when she does. You're she targets it. You're pernicious. You're yeah. pernicious. <laughs> oh, Barbara Walters really did a number on me. How are you, Chris? I'm great. Huh? I'm great. I love this, and I love uh, I love watching Sherry before the show. When you're walking around, Kim, Sherry pulls out a dictionary and a thesaurus, and she's like, oh, "What am I gonna get her with today?" <laughs> That's my favorite part of the pre-show. Sherry's oh, much more crafty. Started, starting some yeah. fish right from the get-go. <laughs> I appreciate that, Chris. This is um. I wanna I wanna also we don't talk about a couple things, but yeah. I know. What I'd like to talk about is a few things are going on. We got Valentine's Day. We're going to talk about. We're going to hit Valentine's Day, and we're going to hit. We should have worn red today. I forgot. Yeah, we messed that up. Yeah, we really <laughs> did. We got first one. Amplified on the Valentine's Our Day Our producer episode. Chris could have sent a little note. Don't forget this going to be the Valentine's episode. Put on red. He did. You know what? Yeah. So That's coming off um, the bill. Yeah. Damn. Take that. Uh, yeah. But also. Um, we can also hit on the Golden Gloves and the Screen Actor Awards, snubs, awards, snubs. That's all. But the other things we want to talk about, I just want to. You sure know, um, I don't really remember all of the snubs for the Golden Gloves. I know it was Zendaya, Mario, and Makiba, mm-hmm. and uh, 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 Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Ma got, Rainey's Black Bottom got it for got a nomination Chadwick. for Chadwick Boseman. But Viola and Viola got a nomination as well. Or, or with the uh uh not the not the Golden Globes, maybe SAG. 
Oh, she didn't get it for Golden Globes. No. Wow, I'm very surprised. How do um, you just give out information you don't even know? Did you check any of this? Okay, this it wasn't on the list. I'm trying to oh. remember from what I talked oh, about on so Dish. Oh, okay. Uh, the, there's another one, Michaela Cole. She, there was no nomination for I May Destroy You, yes, which heard critics yes. love. Everybody, mm-hmm. I mean, they even had uh, writers from big shows that got nominated who wrote her on Twitter and said, I can't believe you didn't get nominated, your show. Same thing happened to me on Curb Your Enthusiasm. Everybody came to me and said, I can't believe you didn't get nominated. I can't, I was on the nomination, uh, what's it called, the ballot. Right. But I didn't get the main nomination. The main nomination. And that was the thing, it's a, it's a hurtful thing. Well, but you can't take your validation from, I mean, right. it's nice that your peers nominate you. Right. And also when you do get nominated, it does open up a door for you for yes. further work. Yes. So it's not. So I want to get off the validation. This like opens up the door for you for more money, yeah. for more for more job opportunities. So yeah, I understand. Um, I you know what tripped me out that didn't get nominated was Bridgerton. I know, but it did get SAG. It didn't get Golden Globe. Yeah, but I SAG. Know. Here's the thing: getting nominated for a SAG award don't get you more work. You don't think so? I because don't. that's if your peers are nominated. Because it's your peers. Are you talking Golden Globe and Emmy? That gets that opens up the door for you. SAG, you, a SAG it's award. Still being a, SAG I award know. is like for actors. But still, people respect it. They do, but it don't open up the doors for you like an Emmy and a Golden Globe. Because you don't never see nobody that said five times SAG a winner on oh, none of their stuff. They don't say that. SAG is just us voting. But you will see, you will see two time Emmy nominated actress, two time Golden Globe nominated. Okay. You don't never see three time SAG nominated actress. You don't see it nowhere. And I'm not disparaging SAG because God knows I paid them a lot of money. Yes, we do. We are members in good daggone standing. They Every time I look around, they up they doggone okay. union dude. Out of control. And I'm like, what y'all doing? And, and the insurance be decreasing. The insurance, they, My copay be like, I'm like, I might as well do the surgery myself. Okay. So <laughs> I'm just saying, that's my little bone I picked with SAG. Uh, where Melissa Gilbert now? So mm-hmm. SAG is not doesn't have the the uh, cachet that the Golden Globes and the Emmys have. As a matter of fact, it doesn't have the cachet so much that the Grammys said they are gonna do their night the same night as SAG. And SAG put out a mm-hmm. notice and said we're very disappointed. That's one of your problems right there. When somebody know you ain't gonna do nothing about it, <laughs> you ain't gonna go bust the head. You just gonna put out a letter going we disappointed that you would do this. They don't have no no power. Well, no, they, it's no cachet. Okay. I mean, so no, so SAG, yeah. It, 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 don't nobody ever come around going, well, you know I want a SAG award. They don't have a SAG award sitting there. Yeah, they do. I think Monique has hers up. Okay. People have their right. SAG award up. Okay. I'll take a SAG Where's award. It? Oh, but she, she Monique has an Oscar, too. Yeah, I have an independent film award. Do you? I do. It's the only award I have in this industry like that. What's it for? <laughs> It is for uh, the Bay, the series. Oh, that when you're in prison. Yes, and I got an Emmy nomination for that. Uh, uh, as I played Big Candy, a prisoner. Was she a gay? You know, we hadn't gotten that far. What was your storyline underneath? As oh, I didn't create all, create all that. Were you playing her? We need you to have I time create, to You know what, Big Candy? I did. This is what Big Candy was. Big Candy was running her unit. She had all, everybody do what she needed to do, but she wasn't, uh, I don't think she was, she had a lot of male energy. She, but she wasn't gay. She, wasn't she was gay. like, yeah, she just had a lot of, yeah, because you have a lot of male energy. Yeah, so I was playing myself. <laughs> <laughs> you are the laziest, most workingest actress I have ever known. I need to get a t-shirt. Oh my God. The laziest, me. most workingest. You should see me doing that audition last night. We did it at two o'clock in the morning. Okay, there was, was an tired. audition. I just Chris. did it because I needed to practice. This was an audition. It took me three days to do it, oh, Jerry. God. It was playing a mother of a of. It's based on a true story, and uh, a woman who a black woman who went to Italy, met her husband, an Italian chef. They came back to the states. He ended up dying of cancer, but oh, she. Did I, those I, inter- <laughs> but she's she's working now. It's 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 a beautiful love story, and she detailed how she went to Italy and met him. So the audition was for this overbearing mother who kind of abandoned her kids and now she wants to be back in their lives. So that was the audition. Kim uh, 
called her agents and went, what is this role that mm-hmm. uh, she was auditioning for? So you, what do her agents do? Good agents. They were like, well, we're going to get you the script. Oh. We're going to get you an audition. Oh. She gets it. She's like, oh, man. <laughs> And I said, well, kill. And she, so she mad at her agent. Right. Now I got to do this audition. I got to read these lines because it's three big, heavy seats. I got to read these lines. Oh, God. And I said, well, Kim, didn't you call your agent? Yeah, but I just wanted to know what, what is this one that they just sent you? It didn't send me. It didn't send me. I didn't actually want the, 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 <laughs> the, the, the People at home praying, begging to break into the industry, begging giving up their lives. This woman, it's it's a great role. And you film in Italy. Like you film, it's seven episodes to, on I Netflix. Can't, I can't go back to Italy. <laughs> it's seven episodes on Netflix. And you film like half the episodes in Italy and half the episodes in LA. So it's a great role. And they wrote it. The, the, one of the writers has written something that she was nominated for an Emmy for. And mm. to go so it's great writing. So Kim is complaining the entire time. I said, well, what did you ask your agents for? Yeah, but I didn't ask them to send it to me. I never asked them to get me the audition. I just wanted to know what the role was that you got offered that I did. So now she's got, now because they've got it, oh, you can't go back to your agents. God. That's like, you. that's number one. No, you cannot go back to your agents and go, I don't want to do it. Oh, God. So now she's over here with Andre. Andre! Hey, Andre! Because you got to hear. So Andre is trying to, I said, Kim, just put it on tape. The great thing about it is you don't want it. So you're probably going to book it. Because that's usually what happens. When you don't want to roll, then you make the strongest choices because you don't care. You don't care what you do. Oh, no. And then I I did do it one time. Send it to my agent. She she gave me no. But I really like to do it. So I was like, what? What the age so was she, you know? So she's trying to do the audition. I call her. I call her. Throw it on some tape. Thank you. I, she's calling Andre to put her on tape just so they could submit it. Because Kim don't care. She got to get up early at three o'clock in the morning to do daily pop. You know, as opposed to being an actress and going to Italy. You know, we got Disney Nation and daily pop. But we, you know, I in, didn't feel in between like, me and Thespians, we need some money. I, I didn't feel like that scene was in Italy. So I was like, that's going to be down the street in Burbank. Okay. So, I, so Andre comes over. I Andre. call Kim. Okay. I call Kim and I go, how's it going? Are you done? She like, they keep giving me notes, telling me how to act and telling me I'm not being, I'm not regal enough. And I'm like, okay, what is this bullshit? And I say, Andre, she ain't got no time to be in a master acting class. Put her on tape oh and just God. send the damn tape in. Freaking give it our captain. No. Andre, no. Andre. All I had to do, the one line, Andre, we talking about this audition that took three days. Come sit down, Andre. Y'all so, remember Andre, right? Y'all remember Andre. Sandy, Sandy. 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 Did you What's just that? say Sandy? Yeah, she know, she, they got a personal you... Got to right. call Chris Tony's son and Sandy said it. <laughs> Oh, Joni, can I, I don't, I, I, hey, hello, Andre. Great to see you. Look at you. You look like a superhero with that, uh, with that on. Like, get out of here, man. He's not taking my glasses off, though. Uh, oh, now, oh, shoot. Now he's a whole different man. Oh, my goodness. Kim, Sherry, can yeah, we talk about, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not really comfortable. Um, I'm a little, you know, I'm usually, I've been the only dude on here recently. Andre's been busy. I don't need him coming in here in shape during a quarantine. <laughs> I don't. Oh, he's, he's not. He got on black. He's not on black. He got on black from the top of his head and stuff to his feet. His scalp has got fat. He got on black socks. He got on black clothes. He got big fat gray beard. He got on black socks to cover up his little fat face. <laughs> <laughs> see, this is this is why I haven't been around, man. I see. I see. <laughs> I take it during the morning. I'm not going to take it in the evening, too. <laughs> oh, so Andre. Yes. Andre. Yes. How was Kim in this audition playing a mother who needs to go to Italy? Back around? How was this audition? Well, first off, Kim's dramatic acting chops are highly <laughs> underrated. She, she's got skills. She yes. just has to believe in herself. That's it. Yes, I agree. Yeah. She Up till two o'clock in the morning, uh, come up believing in myself. So 
because every time I delivered a line or did the scene, Andre would do this. He would look at it on the phone. I would say, Andre, what you think? He go like, this. now this is a person, you know. You supposed to look at it and go like, oh, he did like this. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh hell no! I was like, what's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? He was like, no, 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 it's good. Uh, so this time, we kept doing it. But this is Andre in his auditions. Andre does this. What? <laughs> no. You can't hear him talking. Yeah. Like that. That's how he talks. Then Andre looks down. Then he looks away. Then he looks at the camera. <laughs> That's and, he <laughs> and he stares at it. Then he looks down. He takes one hand and wipes his eye. Like that. Then he looks down. And then he looks up. <laughs> and he goes. See. Right. <laughs> this is the person that's, that's putting you on tape, giving you notes. And I was Andre don't operate in the realm of what you doing over there. I said, I was trying to get him to pull back just a little bit. Yeah, you <laughs> bring it in, just bring it in just a little bit. I wonder, Sherry, should we have Andre and Kim reenact the Larry David moment when Monina is in the car, where maybe Andre is the more dramatic Larry and Monina is yelling at Larry? Like that would be a good exercise. I think we yes. could do that. We got to find out the words. They, I would love to see Andre <laughs> reenact because I'm telling you, if you can see his dramatic reel, I know he got it on his Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Two o'clock in the morning. I did one thing. Andre, because I got sleepy enough, I was like, yeah, that's it, right there. I was like, what <laughs> drama? I'm asleep. But see, that, that's the only way her, her energy came down. Because she was like, what are you I'm like, well, just bring it down. So once she got sleepy, and the character was supposed to be buzzed. Slightly okay. Can you a, stay a, a, in the camera, director? Oh, get get nuzzled uh, up right right on Kim. There you go. There you go. There we go. I had to share the tent, share the share with Kim. You right? shared a lot more since you spent the night last night. Well, since her, wow. since oh my, oh my, we can both get our ass in this chair. <laughs> 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 I don't know if it's I ain't talking. I lost have... thirty pounds with WW. Let's get weight commonly known as Weight Watchers. So or anybody want to join? Pick up and also, you're week. going to be doing something with Oprah, That's and Sierra, right. and, uh, and James, James Corden. Corden. Please tell us what. <clears throat> huh? Oh, okay, so, so every podcast. So every I'm like a brand ambassador. I, am oh. I, I do what's know what's happening. All I got to do is check my Instagram. <laughs> so look here, y'all. On uh, on Saturday, that is Saturday, February 13th, okay. 11 a.m. Eastern Time and 8 a.m. Pacific Time, Oprah and WW present Oprah's Your Life in Focus. Okay. Go to www.com slash Oprah <laughs> and you can sign up. Mm. That's not hard to remember. www.com slash Oprah. Yes. And you can sign up for putting for your life back in focus. WW presents Oprah Your Some Life in Some of the guests focus. are going to be Jennifer Garner. That's right. Sierra, who's a brand ambassador. Mm -hmm. James Corden, Corden, who's a partner. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kim Whitley. And Kim Whitley. That's so right. this is going to be a really great uh, day of, you know, when Oprah talks. Everybody listens. Everybody listens. But so you know what Oprah said? Because she, w -W. she, she had a baby. She had a baby. So you still got to lose pregnancy weight. weight. Oh. Yeah, so but it's going to be really fun because you know what Oprah told the people at WW, which really kind of made me like, kind of feel like, okay. Yeah, what did she say? She said, yes, get Kim with me. She inspires me. Oh. I inspire Oprah this because is... of my weight loss journey. You are inspirational. That's been very yeah. nice. Now so... she had to talk about your acting. Mm. I'm going to do the line one more time. Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm <laughs> uh, me, 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 me. Uh, I don't eat that. I don't. Wait, hold on. Wait, okay. See, Let's see how everybody would do Okay, it. okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay. What's the line? Here we go. It's, I don't eat that. Is that cheese? Well, Amy didn't tell you. No, that ain't it. Wait, Amy. Oh, wait. And Amy didn't tell you I'm a vegan. I know the line. Okay, okay, here we go. And action. I don't need that. Is that cheese? Are you going to do it with me or am I going to do it? What is it going to be? Can you let Kim do her line? Um, 
Oh my God. I, I'm See, starting to like what through. you're doing. Okay. You did it so many uh, times, I know the script myself. That's all. I'm just saying. That's okay. just what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it's o'clock in the morning because of him. He's going to drop. He got dropping the camera. Then the lighting. <laughs> then my back gave out. And then... It was a rough night. Yeah, I hope Y'all, this is what actors go through. So I was like, okay, here's the line, and you do it next. Okay. Uh, mm, mm, I don't eat that. Is that cheese? Um... Did Amy not tell you that I, a vegan, I don't eat meat or butter or eggs. That was it. The you only thing I would have said to you is you don't need to do or eggs. Okay, I don't, that, maybe, I, maybe I didn't do that. I'm just, <laughs> did I do that? Because in a drama, you don't I have said, to or eggs. Yeah. Well, no, one one take, Andre can stop me. He said, I slid on the wall to look. <laughs> he said, you know, I rock. I didn't know I rocked. You do. This is what you do all the time. <laughs> He said, okay, you got to stop moving. You do this all the time. On all, I'll be watching you from my house do a Zoom. I'll be watching you do an interview. I'll watch you with other comments. And I'm like, that girl be... She come up and she come forward in that chair. I don't know why you rock like that. Because, you know... Well, my the only reason why you're not rocking is because Andre laying on your trapped. shoulder. I am stuck. <laughs> I, do okay. move I didn't realize it because in one scene, okay, your turn, you do it. Uh, Chris. Just I like the way you did it. I'm yes. getting some sh- food. <laughs> <laughs> Some shub. <laughs> you better be glad we don't have a human resources department for two funny mamas. Okay, we mm. do. Kyle, I'm gonna call my brother. <laughs> you don't want your brother to be head of human resources. He didn't slept with all the employees. <laughs> oh gosh, Kyle out there trying. He's still trying to make Joshua finish his homework. It's late at night. <laughs> they still got Joshua doing homework. You understand? what time it is. This you see how dysfunctional this family is. You ever watch The Simpsons, Chris? Of course. Did you see when Homer chokes uh, Bart? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Is that what happens to Joshua? You don't get choked, but you can imagine it happening. No. Do that homework. We've gone too far. Yes. Your audition, I actually liked what you did, Kim, because it was it wasn't like, ah, it was brought down. It was very, uh, you were impervious. You were kind of regal. And, impervious. And, yes, and I, I liked what you brought. The only thing I would have said is don't get all in the camera going, because uh, then that brings it to sitcom. So right, I like, and I think Explain you can, and actually you can take, uh, sitcom is where, sitcom mm-hmm. is bigger. Yes. Like when you do a drama, you can bring it all the way down. That's why you can never hear Andre in his auditions because he, he speaks and everything is so like, he stares at his whisper. And you <laughs> act with your eyes. You and act you with talk. your eyes, and then you take off your glasses you slow. Like you take Andre 45 yes. seconds to take his glasses off. I Him and Zoe glasses. Saldana is from the same <laughs> acting class. Because I did a movie with Zoe Saldana, uh-huh. and, and I, I was like, I can't even oh, hear what she's saying. It out there's, no, there's no figure it out. I've, t- I've been told you prefer the, the two shot. When, when, when there's three people on there, I was like, are they going to take the line out the picture? <laughs> <laughs> well, then, yeah, you could just share the thing with me. We but, look like but an 80s music group. We really do. <laughs> lean in. Go ahead and look, lean in. Let's, I look tired. Everybody lean in. Lean in. Let's get a snapshot do, for the new album. Shoot, 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 Listen, get down to the set. Yeah, we sound like a broke damn. We don't even know the words. No. Y'all saw him pepper. I'm hurt. But look how it went on. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like it's you said herpes. herpes. No, herpes. Okay, you herpes. You herpes. Love 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 <laughs> okay, so go back to Kim's audition. Uh, when, when Sitcom is much bigger. So it's emphasizing things for the laughter, for the, you know, the, the, for the beats. Uh, when you do single camera and a drama, everything is brought down. It, you know, you really, it's like that. It's, you know, is that is that a fish? I don't eat fish. I'm vegan. You know, so it's it's much more truthful. Mm-hmm. So, yes. and Andre is absolutely right. Kim has a dramatic side that just needs to be seen, but she needs to believe in herself. And I think her drama defense mechanism is, is to go bigger. Well, drama is a lot more work. And you're the laziest, most workingest actress. Mm-hmm. So if it requires work, 
she don't want to do it because I got 17 jobs to do and a 10 year old to raise and I got to clean up after all these people. It'd be a lot. It'd be a lot. I know I'm blessed and highly flavored. And I- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm highly flavored. Yes. Okay. So, you know, and I'm an ambassador. It's a lot. Thank so, you. So, you know, I, but you're right. But don't I gotta you want focus. that with like one good role? Like, wouldn't you have loved that? You know what? I'm Black Bottom. You know what? I would have loved that. Though. When Made for Love comes out on What's HBO for love? Max. It, oh, that's your thing with uh, Ray, Ray Romano. Romano. We played the nun, and yes. you complained about that the whole time. I did, but it gave me time to work on the character. Yes. which was important. Mm-hmm. This was a rush. Okay, I had it for a week. Uh, this was a rush because I didn't realize what I was doing and that I thought it was did, the emo- did she get the emotional scene where she was talking to her daughter and her daughter oh, was saying you were never around? That, that, yes. that was the first scene that they accepted. They accepted that. My 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 uh, agent was like, oh, we love that. Oh, you, I, you oh I'm, that when I tell you I want Kim to book this role, and let me tell you something, if Kim books this role and they tell her she's going to go to Italy, she's going to be complaining <laughs> all the way to the airport. Kim, you booked a role, you're going to film in Italy. You got your eat, pray, love moment. She's going to be like, I ain't want to go to Italy. You know I ain't want to go to Italy. <laughs> you staying in a castle. I got, oh, God. With scorpions, with I've been to Italy. 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 I've been to Italy. I've been there too. And them Italian men ain't no joke. I can't take every too much pressure to learn my lines and fuck. I mean, I, <laughs> I, I mean, I meant to say friends. I mean, fine. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, Y'all know what I meant. I meant yeah, we it's know a lot. It's a lot. No, because you, the, the Italian men love black women and the attention be too much. Because then you come back to the United and you uh, face reality and ain't nobody talking to you. Okay. It will me- mess up your. Psyche. I know when I went to Italy, I was like, "Wow, this wow. is amazing!" Yes, the attention you get, you get going oh, over to Europe. Oh, I went over yeah. Greece, same thing in Greece. Oh. Uh, it wasn't like that in Turkey when I went to Turkey. Sound like you're just talking about food. some turkey, yeah, men. Men. But if Kim books the role, and she got to go to Italy, she gonna be complaining. She going to call us from Italy going, I don't know how to do the line. I don't know why I got this role. I can't do it. And and, this, and the need getting on my nerves. She need to look at me when I'm saying the lines. <laughs> well, tell him you need your coach with you. I'll go with you. you know, and mess up all my play. You tripping. And you know, get up the Italian women. I do. Right? So we that's come the, back extra But I don't know. You know, go. I didn't feel, <laughs> feel it in your gut. Yeah. I hope you get you it. Know, I really, really hope that you book it. Um, because it would be a va- it would be a great validation of uh, you know what you're doing. You just haven't done it enough, yeah. right? You know, and this is like would be stepping into another level of who you are as an actor. But you know, this is what I felt. I'll be honest with you. Mm-hmm. I felt like it was the same role I just played on your show. Yeah, but it's different because it's this is a this is more of um, it's more grounded. Then call your mother. But still, the same thing. Yes, I but it's grounded. Don't call well, it was because it's playing a mother. Right. You know, and that's the thing. Playing a mother is not too different. I done played from I done went from hookers to a mammy. I mean, mommy. You not you've never played a mammy, Kim. Well, if I'm losing my weight and these big old breasts. Kim, you don't need to lose. Okay, you don't I do. Need to lose I still. Anymore. You that. just need no. You need to work out with Andre and tone it up. You How do you want to work out with the, the, the fat chubby trainer? I am not fat. Okay, <laughs> you're not. You still strong. And Sandy thin. is watching like, this. Don't Sandy, me. he's good. He's good. There but you go. His stomach is puffing up. Because you know why? Because he's been trying to work out with us, and you complain. No, 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 no. The funny thing I wanted to show you. Hiccups. Hiccups. Is that Joshua? Joshua, if you don't stop, see, I no, turned the lights off. off. Even turn I it. turned it off, and she wasn't supposed to bring that. He want to show me. See, he put me back there doing the homework. I, I gotta ignore that. Well, probably is. I apologize. To no, I, I want to work out with Andre, but Andre's head ain't in the trainer right now. It's not because we haven't been consistent. Here's the deal. This is the thing. We're supposed to work out yes. at five forty-five. Everybody's supposed I'm to come in my house. Well, this is before Daily Pop, because you didn't have any excuse. Kim's supposed to show up at 5.45. Andre comes. Sometimes he oversleeps most times, so he don't get to make it. So I'm the only one in my garage, because I'm up waiting ready to go, everybody. waiting on everybody. <laughs> Andre, you can't get in touch with him. He don't even answer no text. Hello, is everybody up? 
Kim's like, oh, we're going to do it today. We're supposed to do it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I don't know what's different about today. But let me tell you. So Kim gets there. Okay, no, I'm going to finish, oh, finish okay. Kim gets there when we do get together. And Andre, when he comes, he's in it. He knows martial arts, Van Dugo, Nanugo, all kinds of, you he know. Does. He does. And so Kim complains the entire we work out for 45 minutes. She complained for 35 and we'll do something for the last 10. But and I then still... if she sees her face in the mirror, she gets distracted. All right. All right. So, you know, we, we're talking about working out. I want yes. y'all to know I put my money where my mouth is. And I finally went and invested in a bike. You know, the bike everybody been talking about. That the Peloton. Stuff. You get on there and you ride with everybody. Yeah, well, they got the they got the trainers. You zoom them in or whatever it is. Zoom yeah. them in on the TV screen. Everybody get it. That's like the new thing. Well, mm. I didn't quite get the Peloton. Yeah. I got me a Meloton. What is a Meloton? <laughs> Sherry, wow. wait, wait, wait. Did you, do you guys have Alexa? Do we need to bring out Alexa for that? Are you sure? Alexa. No, no, no. You ain't going to find it. You ain't going to find it. What is a Meloton? I named it because it looked like kind of Peloton-ish. It, I, I was Where'd the, you get it from? I was in the Goodwill today. You got a, a bike from the Goodwill? Listen, listen. A Peloton costs about $3,000. Oh my gosh, dollars. is this the bike right here? Look at that bike right there. It looks good. It's $40. Where's the, the TV good... screen? Well, there's a screen on there, but I'm, I'm just going to take my phone, put the Wait. Peloton app. What is he gonna, you, gonna have, you gonna have Andre hook up a, a dial-up connection to it? How does this work? You don't know, put the Peloton at. What, I don't even see the there's thing. There's no power Where's the cord to it. Yeah, no, oh, Where's the no, power cord? There's no. There's no. There's no there's, it, it runs on batteries. Oh Jesus! Please. I'm sorry. Batteries? <laughs> Do they even make batteries anymore? Four double A batteries. Four double A batteries. Sherry. A Meloton from the Goodwill store yeah, that's a, that's that runs on four AA batteries. I've saved $3,000. Oh, I got still got a bike. My legs are still going to move. If I put the app on my phone, there still could be people I'm riding with. Go, Kim, go, Kim. And I could be like, yeah, yeah. I worked out in the Goodwill for five minutes and I was winded. That's what made me buy it. From using that bike? Yes. You got that. <laughs> That thing's old enough, it's got a carburetor on it. I know. <laughs> That's what it looks like. A big carburetor on the back. Y'all be in the corner collecting dust okay. like the rest of the Like equipment. Kim got all his right. gym. He got a big old elliptical right on his side. A Meloton. A Meloton bike. She got so much equipment around the house yes. that you never use. I so don't. why would you get a bike from Goodwill? Because... It's you depriving somebody who really needed that bike. And you know what? The girl in the store said, I was going to buy that. I was, she the manager. <laughs> and was like, I, said, I was like, but you been there. You don't want to put it on the floor. You, I said, hey, I said, you snooze, you lose. I oh said, I got God. the hottest thing out. Chris, <laughs> it's so much equipment. It's like a homeless gym. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All the equipment is old, <laughs> broken. <laughs> Oh they just took it up off the curb and brought it over. Oh my gosh. Mm. I don't mm. understand what is going he on with tell, you. You can tell Andre that he just half off the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? How do you not know to get your face in the camera and you used to be a photographer? Yeah, I just Huh? Yeah, what's wrong with close. you? I did want to say, I did want to say, uh Andre, you guys, does we don't have Andre's calendar or his uh, video. Mm -hmm. But Chris, we had talked about this before. Andre does erotic photography, which is really, uh, he does amazing work. I think you probably have some posted on your Instagram. He does uh, photography of couples making love, but not actually in the act, but like simulated. Sensual, sensual. 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 That's what I should say. Yeah. Sensual photography. Take away the erotic. Sensual photography. Folks, you think I'm shooting porn on this? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sorry, Andre. He does sensual photography. <laughs> but no, no, but it's really beautiful because he, he makes his body look amazing. So that's what I was telling Kim, Andre, that, no, yes, I was telling Kim, Andre, that she should do to celebrate losing 30 pounds with WW, she should do some sensual photography. Oh, definitely. Kim's looking good, too. And she looks good. Yeah. And then you gotta, you're not gonna, you smooth out cottage cheese. Right? Oh, what? You said it. I didn't say that. I didn't you say that. Did you hear me say cottage cheese? Last yes. week you did. Chris, if I said cottage anything on my body, if you, I, did you last say that? I remember. No, I, last time you that. said cottage, you were up on the on that mountain. Whenever you were scared about being the only black woman up there. 
that anyway. was one of your other friends. So I'm not talking to you. Right. My cottage cheese. I don't have no cottage cheese. I got a bunch none. of dimples, but I don't have no <laughs> cottage cheese. Andre would make all of the dimples go away. He would smooth out your skin. Andre could he give you my color. He still ain't on the camera. Look at him. I'm I know. Just, Andre just, I don't know. You are determined you to get him, out of frame. Because you make him uncomfortable. Because he keeps going away from How you. How can he be uncomfortable? He don't want to try my bed last night. My, I got a new tempur bed. Oh, she got the You know, make his big behind in the bed. I was like, are you know, sure you got a tempur pedic or a memper <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to pay. I paid $3,000. This is the same one that we got from Home Depot and mm. took it back and pulled out the old tree. The lights didn't even work, so she put lights around it. The mm. old tree that you've been complaining about. Okay, you're right. You are, so that probably ain't even a tempur It is. It's a real tempur And it took you a year to get it. It did. I had to research Was it. Was it on layaway? No, it took because she didn't want to spend the money. It's her back account. What I did was save my money in my PayPal account. But meanwhile, you rolled you. over looking like a troll. Your back hurt so bad. <laughs> Kim was sleeping on her hardwood floor because her bad. her mattress was so brutal yeah, was on her body. But she would not go get the tempur She went to 19 different stores. Now, mind you, every tempur store... Kim went to get tested for COVID. She had Andre pick her up to get tested for COVID, but instead she went to the tempur store and stayed in there the whole time. Then she took me to another tempur store. I wanted to go to carry the same things. Like the, the I don't I don't go shopping with Sherry anymore. I, I, I go with Andre, yes. He's patient, she is not. Because it, you took, literally, this is what Kim says. When they try to, uh, when they try to show the tempur mattresses, they said we have some with springs in them. I don't want no springs. I don't want no springs. I don't want no coils. I don't want none of that. Okay, that's great. So the half the store is gone. Now we only got these. Okay, I don't want nothing firm. I don't want nothing firm. I want something medium. Okay, so now you took away another third of the bed because she just want me. I don't want none to recline up and down, and I got a budget. Okay, so now really you only got five beds. You only got five mattresses oh that you can try. We so it's not gonna take long. All of a sudden, Kim is laying on stuff with coils in it. Kim, you say you don't want no coil. I know, I know, I know, but I just, I just won't see. I just won't see what it feel like. Kim, you say you don't want nothing to recline. Yeah, I know, I know, no. But look at it. Look at it. And it got music. And it got lights underneath the bed. I got. So now we didn't. Now we gotta go do all the mattresses in the store. And then uh-huh. here's the, she gets on the mattress and she just lays on it like she's going to sleep. Kim, we're not supposed to be here for 45 minutes on each mattress. Lay on it for five minutes and get off. Yeah, I wanted to ask you a question. Okay. Um, because I know that this is going to be a Valentine's Day episode. It's really not, because we got on purple camouflage and black. Now, one of us is Valentine's. This is the the most broken down Valentine's Day episode. We got black, black History red Month. Red. Yeah, we Black History Month for real. We got a red. Yeah, red. and we got a red on. Oh, that's hilarious. It's a black did you just history. hold up my address? No. Why do you always do that? Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. I did. Oh shoot. <laughs> well, if you want some free merchandise, Chris, I gave you the address. Chris, blur that, please. Oh my God. Sorry. Oh um, my God, this group. We were going to talk about it, and I know it's going to be some very disappointing fans because everybody. Let's talk about it quickly. Then. No, we can't do it quickly. It's we not can. Quick. Here's what I think. I think maybe we regroup for a special uh, Valentine's uh, little bon- so. bonus episode. Because the bonus episode, guys, I know you guys wanted to hear about Gerald Levert and Kim Whitley, and we don't have enough time to do it on this episode. And I'm very sorry, but we're going to do a special bonus episode of the Gerald Levert and Kim Whitley uh, love story because we can't do it quickly. There's a bunch of questions. And speaking of, if there's any questions that you have regarding Gerald Levert and Kim Whitley, anything you've been dying to know, please, because I read the comments uh, as much as I can, please put down your question or you can email me at twofunnymamas at gmail.com. If you've, and in the subject line, put Gerald Levert. Because I want to do an in-depth Barbara Walters, Diane Sawyer interview with Kim, stop side eye me, with Kim Whitley about her love affair with Gerald Levert. That was the love of her life, and Kim was the love of Gerald's life. So I really want to unpack well, uh, you and Gerald. A lot of people don't believe that. Yes, we so, know. We know she doesn't because she thinks that she was the love of his life. Yes, but she was not. Okay, so we've got we've cleared that up. So and she and she and others. There are there's a lot of women that thought they, they were the love of Gerald's life, but Gerald did not make a song about them. He was not he was not inspired to make a song about them. 
So there we go. So, You're giving out way too much information. Oh, well, watch You're acting I mean. like Wendy Williams. I tell you stuff in private and you just go put it all out there. Because this is going to be the Gerald Levert, Kim Whitley love story. We might be able to get this made into a movie. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, so, and then another thing I'm I want to let you... Lifetime. Well, Lifetime, sometimes you just got, you, it's coming you up. You know what I want to say real quick before we get away? Mm -hmm. Is that um, I'm reading uh, Holly Robinson Pete's tweet. And it's from the Los Angeles Times. It says Chadwick Boseman made SAG Award history on Thursday when he became the first person ever to receive four nominations in a single year in the film categories. And it's right on wow. LASTime.com. Even, even passed death. away in death. Chadwick Boseman is still making his mark. Yes. I miss him and I miss his skills. Yes. On February 15th, I will be a guest President's Day on The View because I haven't been on The View in something in all, almost three years. Wow. So I haven't been on The View in What are you going to be talking about? Everything. What I'm doing is for the day after Valentine's Day, so I'll be talking about my love life or lack thereof. Oh, and they um, just asked you to come on? Yeah, they just asked me to come on. They, you know, I actually put out a tweet <laughs> that said... No, uh, you did that. I did. I put out a tweet it's because... Andre don't like being on camera. Get on the he, camera. He just like gravitates I, like about, I want you to either get on the camera or go away. Now, Kim. Because, if, but Andre don't, it just, he messing up the show. I haven't said anything. I'm just That's saying. the thing. You gotta either be on camera or off. You're messing up the look. You, you oh. tell our age, because we hear this is, I love this. You this. tell our older brother. <laughs> You know what this is? We girls in their twenties and thirties just don't go off like this. Only when you so great. go from zero to twelve. Yes, now stay there. This is this is the guy. This, this is the guy that uh, is in the background with in a Zoom. So we've got the studio here, and we do some cocktail courses with a company, and they you know they'll they'll, they'll do it for like a party. The other day. Someone's boyfriend was standing shirtless behind them, watching the whole time on a Zoom full of all these people, and he was watching the cocktails get made. He didn't say one thing. He just stood halfway behind his girlfriend with his shirt off, watching these drinks get made. And this is what Andre, this is what Andre's doing. He's just kind of oh leering in once in a while. I love it. <laughs> when he got something to say, he'll bring his head in. Oh, it was amazing. Um, let me no, see. So I think but that was Sherry, it. Sherry, Sherry, yes. Sherry. Now you've got this popular podcast or almost to 40,000 subscribers on YouTube and, uh, congratulations on 40 episodes. This is episode 40. Yeah. Wow. Hey. Yeah. It's don't make it this long. I'm going to tell you something. Thank well, you to all our listeners and our viewers. Yes. We're all episode 40. We appreciate you hanging in there with us. We started out with no followers. No subscribers, and now we're at how many uh, subscribers? All, um, as of this recording, we're almost at forty thousand, and as long as uh, as long as we get to forty thousand by uh, by when this comes out, we got some prizes to give away. I think this is really cool. Wow! Push the subscribe button right here, y'all. Right hey, down can there. Can you tell like three people to subscribe to our yes, podcast? Yes, it's a good time to tell a friend. Yes. Tell please. a friend. Tell a family member. Tell somebody you got a crush on to listen, go subscribe to Two Funny Mamas, the podcast. We really appreciate that. And, if, so uh, and we'll pick uh, we'll, we'll pick a winner, but just let uh, let Kim and Sherry know that you're a big fan of the podcast. Just comment, maybe tag a friend, and we'll pick a winner. We'll announce it the next time you'll get a copy of book of the books autographed, and maybe we'll uh, throw it. The Delusion of Cinderella. That's my book. And my book, was it Permission Slips? Permission Slips. Yeah. Every exactly. woman's got to a break. I ain't got nothing, so. <laughs> you can autograph <laughs> it. Not um, one of his pictures. One I was curious, Sherry, why wouldn't you, Sherry, why wouldn't you take Kim onto The View with you, though? That's my one question. Why wouldn't I take him on The View with me? You went on The View and you made Barbara Walters mad. <laughs> 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 Pretty good reason. Pretty good reason. Oh, I can't remember no, one of y'all. I've never been on The View. You never, you never I took guess, my place when I was uh, no, doing dance. No, with Sarah. I think they said does, probably thought I was blue or something. Does the, was, on the fifteenth, does two? Sorry, go ahead. No, Barbara thought she was too blue, she, which is dirty. That's she hilarious. Weird. And Kim is a dirty, dirty girl. <laughs> I'm not known as a dirty girl. Yeah, you are a dirty, dirty. Uh, <laughs> I'm very. Funny. 
Okay, so we have to. Uh, so, so in order to get the book. What do they have to do, Chris? So make sure that's I think we'll pick a winner. Drop a Sherry. We'll we'll take some time. Drop a comment. Let us know why you love the show and how many people you've told about it. And Sherry oh. will pick a winner uh, as this comes out it, during the live chat during the show. Like right now, let us know right now what you think about the show, why you watch it, and how many people you've told about it. And then uh, and maybe Kim will send you a dirty photo with uh, to the winner too. No. What? Was no, that, you don't know, Kim. I thought. You know, I'm not Sherry. I mean, I'm not. We <laughs> have to be funny. I, I got to pick him up and talk it. Sherry walks it. What? For Anybody who knows me knows Whatever. that. A, a couple videos I made. Literally, two. That we'll I talk about you. this off the air. Just two. This is what Kim doesn't do, and I will say this. When I lose weight, I make videos of me dancing sexy. I'm proud of it. I do it. Kim loses weight. She becomes Prudy McPrude. I don't understand <laughs> what. <laughs> Nothing so to hide I behind. With healthy wage, like if you wanna if you wanna lose weight and, and, and win money, go to healthywage.com/sherry. Uh, and then Kim is with WW. So Kim has lost thirty pounds. So I'm like take like me. I want to take the pictures with Andre. Like but like we talked about with Andre, the only downfall. Andre, go to take a picture of your booty, then you might feel him kissing your booty. Right, that so is that, the problem. You know, that's I was a lot was. younger then. I'm more reserved. <laughs> well, seeing an ass right there when I was younger, like, hey, <laughs> I'm not. But then again, with COVID, it might knock again. Right? <laughs> I want to be professional, but give me, I, give me a break. And just stay on camera when you talk. When you talk about my audition, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Kim, I say to Kim, like I liked, and I like to send her the videos. I like to pose in sexy positions and send Kim the videos. And she sends them. And I send her, I send them often. So I like, do, I like dancing to sexy music and I'll send Kim the video because I ain't got nobody else to send it to. And then I guess I'm supposed to approve it, circle <laughs> in red and send it back. <laughs> so, but so I say, Kim, make some videos. You lost 30 pounds. Like, you got a great body. Make the videos. They're so... Uh, the only Chris, reason... This is something that only women can do. Because I guarantee... Yo, man, I lost five pounds. Check this video. Of me dead. <laughs> do you know what I would do? I'd be like, get bent, dude. Like, I don't want to... <laughs> no thanks. Because <laughs> you ain't never seen no videos of you dancing nasty to your yeah, friends. Right, yeah. Hey, guys, I dropped 30 pounds. Check out these moves. <laughs> I took a Viagra, watch me whirly bird. <laughs> <laughs> feeling oh feeling well, in shape. Here comes the helicopter. Let's go, guys. All right. This is something that we do. I took a picture with no clothes on with some hot pink heels, remember? What? The hot pink heels, and I, and I had a teacup. You mean the one with your butt? The yeah, oh, that was the... a good one. But who I was leaning picture? over the counter. Who took that picture? Because it was your butt. I set the camera. I set the camera up on the counter behind me, uh -huh. and I didn't have any clothes on. And I bent over, and I had like a teacup, but I had on hot pink stiletto heels. But I'm gonna Kim. ask again, Kim. Kim. You can bend over and snap the camera no, no, no. at the same time. <laughs> Right? It, it was. You it. How do you do that? You no, reached back, and it was like the. <laughs> Let me push the button. Oh, God. I think it was that masseuse with no table. <laughs> <laughs> he came I back. I don't know how I picture, but I did. I, I swear to God, nobody took that picture. Okay. It was just me. I don't know how. Maybe I did it from behind with a mirror. I don't know, oh, but no. I did it. But it was an amazing picture. It, it was looked amazing. Great. That was, and I sent it to everybody. And everybody was like, stop sending me these pictures. I, I, I didn't send it to you. I sent it to my girlfriend. Yeah. We're yeah. sick of her. <laughs> <laughs> these pictures. I don't want to see this. I Can you put clothes on next time? part of her body. Yeah, you should. But it's good. You're very proud of your body. I, I don't think anyone's ever seen my body. I don't even do it with lights on. Never have. Oh, I see. The lights need to be on. I want to see your face. Oh, no. I want to see your body. I, I want to see your see muscles. I want to see your eye. Lights on. Who does with the lights on? Put my hand in. Lights on. Andre, no, lights no, on. No lights on. Chris? You lights on, Chris, or lights off? Obviously, lights off. I mean, you you have to go, you have to go lights off. Obviously, why? I thought I was going to get off real good. <laughs> you can't see who you with. That's, that's no. why you don't say his voice. You guys, I'll be like, is that Chris? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's right. Yeah, we have you have lights on, and you're like, you know, I just can't. I need it to be like the podcast. No faith, please. <laughs> Oh, there it is. I'm very surprised. Call it, uh, call it podcast style. No, I was listen. I, I was just, I, <laughs> broadcast style. Okay. Podcast style. Be my voice from above. <laughs> oh no, no, I don't do on top. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I am really not pretty recruit. Yes, I'm very surprised at you, Chris. That Sherry, you be a, a person. Listen, th- because Kim said that's what she liked. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> oh, Chris, that was cute. Can you be my Valentine? Oh, my God. You know what? I accept. Thank you, Kim. Oh, my God. Let me tell you something about the lights on. You just, it's something about, and let me tell you what men like. They like to see you walk to the bathroom. Oh, my God. You always walk back. You more oh, oh, God. I do. I do. I do. I said the N-word, too. Andre. <laughs> Andre. Now, Sherry, did you... Ain't do you... No, no, no. <laughs> Sherry ass is rounder than mine. I done lost some weight. I look like I'm from a third world country. <laughs> okay. It ain't right. Y'all turn around. Y'all make it hurt. Oh, oh God. my gosh. <laughs> When you're confident about your body, it doesn't matter what size you are. Men like confidence. So put the lights on. Walk slowly towards the bed. A lot of dudes. Like, do everything of, slow. I don't like none of that. I don't of, like walking past the mirror. <laughs> I'm like, who that bitch? <laughs> Where did I get any this information, though? Where do you get this from? Ooh. Oh, that men like to see you walk to the bathroom? Yeah, thank you. You don't want to see a woman walk to the bathroom? Well, you just said, I got rolls on my back and dimples <laughs> in my back. He gonna love this. I don't, I don't want to see that. No, light it out. Let's clap. Let's clap. I did a beat on myself. Look at my chair. That's my <laughs> good chair. <laughs> Okay. Now, maybe in them 20s or Let me see you going to the bathroom. Oh, my gosh. I got to go to the bathroom. This is like, we don't have to yeah, okay. Okay. We don't want to talk Let's, let's end on a... Can we end on a... <laughs> we have done way too much talking. Yes. It's happy Valentine's Day. We Thursday night. Was that a Valentine's Day podcast? This was yes. not a Valentine's this Day. This is no. a Valentine's we're, Day We've Day. decided we're doing a, another one. Can we end on a positive oh, note like from a... Yes, I'm dressed for Before we go, does anybody, everybody's got to give their own thing about uh, what, like a black history fact. Let's start with Andre. Really? That's what oh, we don't do. Spray it on me. Right. Everybody has to look up. Okay. Y'all don't, who made the potato chip? That was good. Viola Davis. You know what? I'll slap you right in your <laughs> face. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Viola looked at Julius, mm. and she was like, damn, I want some chips. We oh. got to make our own. Who? Okay. Oh. Who came up with Black History Month? Oh, Ooh. man. Somebody got tired of it just being a week. But who who came it? up with Black History Month? Yeah, how about, I gave my Black History who back. Came up I with said, Black Chad H- Bozeman just made history. I gave my. Who came up with Black History Month? Yes. I, we talked about it on my show. Was it Gerald Ford? No. No? Just, it was so the white black? man came up with it. Oh, my God. Maybe. They, Okay. Who came up with black, who came up with Black History Month? Miles Listen. Davis or somebody? Oh no. No, who no, no. Who no. came up with Black History Month? What an who inappropriate time for Ask a White Carter. Guy. And it got ex- extended to a month. Carter G. Woodson. The um precursor to Black History Month was created in 1926 in the United States when historian Carter G. Woodson and his associates from the study of Negro life and history announced the second week of February to be Negro History Week. Okay, so it was Why a week. Why did they say it like that? I, okay, I don't know I'm sorry, because, like you know, that. in 19, whenever there was 20, that's how they was excited. Yeah, so it was excited it went like from, that. Uh, so uh, big ups to Carter G. Woodson um, for picking February for Black History Month. Why well, he picked the short month? Okay. <laughs> well, it wasn't a month though. It was only a week. So it was only so a week. Big ups to Carter. 
Yeah. So what's y'all's black history fact? Even though I had to pull mine up. Uh, uh, Frederick Good Douglass job. made Good. the. Oh, he's cute too. Yeah. He's Good fly. Job. Uh, oh, we're about to have a uh, Harriet Tubman is going to be on the twenty dollar bill. Joe Biden, Joseph Robinette Biden, signed that into law because you know once the other president was in, he just dropped it. Dropped it, yeah. Uh, and so Harriet Tubman, they are putting her back on the twenty dollar bill. Wow, this is a great. You got one? one? Uh-huh. Yeah, in, in uh, nineteen thirty-seven, I think. Mamie Johnson. Uh, Roth, I think her last name was. She, she was the first woman to say in church, if you don't stop on no one, do What? She <laughs> so said Mamie Johnson was the first one to lean back in church and look at her kids and go, if you don't stop, I'm going to knock the black off you. <laughs> That's the fact. Is that what you said? Yeah. Mamie Johnson was the first black woman in oh. church. Oh. <laughs> that lean back was like, oh. I'd like to give a black history uh, fact is that rapper uh, Little Uzi uh, put a 24 carat diamond in his dag on forehead. Oh, boy. You asking to be robbed, Little Uzi. I'm going to tell you. Right. And that's why this generation's hip hop don't get no respect. You, 20, 22 he, million. Like you can buy. Million. Do you know how many children he could save? Or just me. even if you want, it would be selfish. How much real estate you could buy? Yeah, yeah. leave a legacy. Leaving a legacy. Now, what happens when, like, head crack audition agent said, you get older and your skin start folding in itself and the thing fall out? <laughs> then you just have a hole in your head. You guys, you like guys didn't see Endgame, did you? You didn't see Avengers Endgame, did you? There's a. There's... Oh, hilarious! Not Thanos. <laughs> what happened with Thanos? <laughs> and what you say? I saw yesterday. <laughs> When he had to take the thing out the dude's hand, yeah. uh, the red vision, flag. vision. Wow. Yeah, and yeah, I'm sure that like, by the so time this, by the time this has come out, I'm sure that joke's been made 700 times. But that that's <laughs> going to happen. That's I going to happen. Like, what do you do? Like, we today? lose everything. <laughs> you know, and fall out your head. Well, and I'm, what if it's infection? Oh, did you see Inglorious Bastards? Do you ever see that? Yeah. See what Brad Pitt did at the end? No, no, you don't want that. He takes a knife to a guy's skull. You don't want that happening because no. that will happen. And yeah. when your name Lil Uzi, and you're already a, talking about some stuff going crazy, happen. crazy. I know. I was like, where is his mama? Give me them diamonds out your head, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> and you know, and here's the thing about like rich people, like authentically, the old money. Mm-hmm. They don't even wear the real stuff. They wear the fake, the the counterfeit, and they keep the real stuff in the in safe. safe yep. Yeah. Because they know they can sell it, so they wear the stuff that looks real, but it's, it's an not investment. real. It's an investment. Yeah. You but don't this put is it in the generation pocket. of skinny jeans hanging, sagging off your butt, and they try and run from the police. So what do you expect? Okay, we digress. We're going on to a whole other subject. <laughs> yeah, we <we're laughs> supposed to like this. You the one brought it. Up. All I did, I was trying to end it with a joke. Did nobody about- tell you? <laughs> Up on the bandwagon. Running from the cops. Ja- how about Jack Johnson? Let's give a shout out to Jack Johnson. What was it? Like early 1900s, first ever heavyweight what? champ. Oh my yeah. gosh. Can you imagine being that guy in the early 1900s, slaying just every opponent possible and people yeah. hating your existence? My God, wow. that guy. Wasn't Jack Johnson married to a white woman? Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> An even bigger <laughs> F you to the system. <laughs> Good for him. So he used to be funny. They were just shooting us. So he was the baddest dude, and nobody yeah. wanted to step to him because he, oh. he knocked the ass out. Incredible. Jack there we go. Yep. Black uh, history month. Do you, do you all want a quick shout out from a fan? Yes. You guys like that. Uh, I'm going to read this. I got an email. And, uh, and here's what I love about you folks. We were a little late on the uh, premiere today. I got people Instagram commenting and DM. They know to come to me. <laughs> <laughs> I got I people coming that. after me. Uh, good day, Chris. I'm wondering if you could get your girls, Kim and Sherry, to give me a shout out. I love two funny mamas and watch them on YouTube, and I crack up laughing at the things they say. If you're recording uh, near the 7th of February, that is my birthday. Please ask them if they could give me a happy birthday shout out. Naya, oh. we, this is Naya We, uh, N Y A W E H, and that's thank you from Bubba, Six Nations, Canada. P.S. I will try and send them a message on their Insta or social as well. Well, so thank Naya you for that to me. Naya's, Naya's birthday. birthday. 
So can we no, say no, this is this says from Bubba oh. and Six Nations Canada. I believe Naya Wa is uh, is from from uh, the native, uh, I guess, speak. Chris, Chris, Whose Chris. birthday is it? What's the shout Bubba. out? Chris? Bubba. Chris. Bubba. Happy oh, birthday, hey, Bubba. Everybody go to Cameo. If you want a birthday shout out, <laughs> you <on> Cameo. And uh, <laughs> oh my God. you're the one that didn't even want to join Cameo. <sighs> I don't want to charge people for doing things. So what? Please do. Who, both we're gonna sing though. happy birthday. Okay, but who whose is birthday it? is it? I don't know. We need to sing. Just give the guy a shout. Happy birthday, Bubba. Um, it's a happy birthday for Bubba. Yeah. You had seventeen names. Chris. You sure did. No, 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 no. I said uh, they said thank you in their native tongue. Naya. Oh, Naya. Way. Oh, that means thank uh, you. Oh, what native is it? Uh, Six Nations, Canada. That would be like akin to Native Americans here. So. Oh. Oh, Bubba. Okay. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Bubba. Thank you for Naya way. Naya way. Thank you so much. Happy you just birthday. just wanted it from the two funny moments, so I'm not going to say Yeah, that. you don't need yeah. to say nothing. And please, please do, please do Cash App Kim for that, uh, for that cameo. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. I'm not on cameo, but you can send me 20 bucks. I'll say any damn thing. <laughs> You actually have a very funny commercial. We have to, you got to send that to Chris so we can run it. Oh, okay. We'll send, literally, send that to Chris and we'll run your commercial. Hi. You don't know me. Most people don't. And that's why, for $25, I'll say whatever the f you want me to say. Why go to Cameo and get a celebrity? They're not going to say what you want them to say. I'll say any f***ing thing you want me to say for $25 in my cash app. That's right. Only $25, 10 words or less. I'll say that <laughs> So cash at me, $25. And I'll say any <laughs> thing, long as it's not racist or homophobic or anything to do with pro-Trump. <laughs> Other than that, I'll say any mother <laughs> thing you want for $25, 10 words or less. If you want more than 10 words, send another f***ing $25. That's right. Happy birthday. Congratulations. Happy anniversary. Merry Christmas. Or happy Kwanzaa. Or what's the Jewish one? Hanukkah. I say all that shit. Or some other shit. F*** you. Take this job and stick it up your ass. Uh, bitch, your breath stink. Whatever you want me to say, that's right. You don't need cameo. You don't need celebrities. Just get me. People don't know me, but I'll tell them whatever the f*** you want me to say. If you pay Andre, he will say anything you want. <laughs> he sure He's will. got the funniest commercial out about saying whatever you need him to say. So we're going to end it because uh, we've talked a long time. We'll do the, the Gerald LeVert, uh, Kim Whitley love story special episode. And we want to thank you, everybody who's hung in there with us. This very unstructured podcast that we started 40 episodes ago on Mother's That's Day. That's right. Thank you. So to we want to thank you. That's so like We'd amazing. Like thank you so much for putting up with us and the shenanigans. And for putting up with Andre, Sandy's son, and Joni's son, Chris. Shout yeah, out to really? Joni. Joni bought a Two Funny Mamas t-shirt. <laughs> I was like, no, she bought it. She had it shipped to her house and everything. And I was like, you know, uh, whatever. So we'll we'll get a picture for next time. That's what moms do. They support you, man. They, they're the that's best. Funny. Shout out to Joni. We sent some home, didn't we, to Sandy? I, I don't I know, too. but I don't yeah. think Sandy got it. We got, I got some at the house, so we're going to send one to Sandy, too. Okay. Joni, thank oh, you for buying a T-shirt, even though your son would have given you a bunch for a discount, because I don't know if Chris, <laughs> he don't be giving stuff out for free. Right. I know, because I didn't try it. Yeah, Chris be tight with that money. So at least, Joni, you'd have got a good discount off the T-shirt. So <sighs> thank you for supporting. If you want to buy any of our merchandise, here's our Two Funny Mamas mug. All of our merchandise, you go to the Two Funny Mamas, Byjack.com slash two funny mamas. We got t shirts and masks and masks. Mass. Bags. Bags. So please join us. Thank you everyone for watching and listening to Two Funny Mamas. I'm sleepy as heck. Right.
mamas Two funny mamas Two funny mamas